Hello all. Welcome to the GDPR tutorial series and in this video we will understand the key rights of the data subjects as per European Union's GDPR. Let's get started. The first on the list is right to information. This right provides the data subject with the ability to ask an entity for information about what personal data related to them is being processed and the rationale for such processing. For example, a customer may ask for the list of processors with whom his or her personal data is shared by the data controller. Second, on this list is right to access. This right provides the data subject with the ability to get access to his or her personal data that is being processed. This request provides the right for data subjects to see or view their own personal data, as well as to request copies of the personal data. Next, we have right to rectification. This right provides the data subject with the ability to ask for modifications to his or her personal data, in case the data subject believes that this personal data is not up to date or accurate. Next, we have right to withdraw consent. This right provides the data subject with the ability to withdraw a previously given consent for processing of their personal data for a purpose. The request would then require the company to stop the processing of the personal data that was based on the consent provided earlier. Moving on. Next, on the list is right to object. This right provides the data subject with the ability to object to the processing of their personal data. Normally, this would be the same as the right to withdraw consent, if consent was appropriately requested and no processing other than legitimate purposes is being conducted. However, a specific scenario would be when a customer asks that his or her personal data should not be processed for certain purposes while a legal dispute is ongoing in court. Next, on the list we have right to object to automated processing. This right provides the data subject with the ability to object to a decision based on automated processing. Using this right, a customer may ask for his or her request to be reviewed manually, because he or she believes that, automated processing of his or her loan may not consider the unique situation of the customer. Next we have right to be forgotten. This right provides the data subject with the ability to ask for the deletion of their data. This will generally apply to situations where a customer relationship has ended. Last, on our list is right to data portability. This right provides the data subject with the ability to ask for transfer of his or her personal data. As part of such request, the data subject may ask for his or her personal data to be provided back to them or transferred to another controller. I hope the content was useful. Please subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all the upcoming videos on GDPR and other important topics. Thank you.